Good evening and welcome to the Brookfield Selectman's meeting of Tuesday, February 11, 2020. Would you like to rise and join me in saluting the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like a motion to approve Selectman's meeting minutes from 1-14-20, 1 28-20. And that's two. Okay. Oh, this is different. Oh, okay. That's the only difference. Back up. All right, yeah. we'll back up. Okay. I'd like a motion to approve uh, expense warrant for 2-11-20 for $69,534.11 and approve a payroll warrant for 21220 for $167,762.20. You have that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Then I'd like to approve selectmen, motion to approve selectmen's meetings from 11420, 12820. And there's two sets. You have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And then I would like to acknowledge minutes and reports from other departments. Uh, EMT monthly report, uh, January 2020. Fire department monthly report, January 2020. And the grant report of January 2020. You have a motion to acknowledge. Second. All in favor, aye. aye. And where the fire department is concerned, I would like to, we have two that are celebrating anniversaries from the fire. One is Lieutenant Daniel Driscoll. He's been with us for 11 years. And firefighter David Merlo with nine years. And I'd like to congratulate the both of them and thank you for their service for the town and hope they continue to be with us for many years yet. Okay. Announcements. A winter parking ban is in effect through April 1st from the hours of 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. There shall be no parking on any streets, also snow or ice removed from driveways, sidewalks, or private property shall not be plowed, shoveled, or blo blown across any public way, street, or roadway. Brush burning permits for the outdoor burning of brush and forestry debris are available between April 30th, are available until April 30th. To obtain a permit, please visit caburnpermits.com or call the dispatch at 508-867-1066 between the hours of 7.30 a.m. and 12 noon on that day you want to burn. Do not call 911, the fire station, or regular dispatch numbers. Okay, our first thing on our agenda this evening is at 6.35, it's a liquor license for Dugas Restaurant and Catering, LLC. Uh, a public hearing will be held this evening at 6.35, Tuesday 11, February 11, 2020, during the scheduled meeting of the Board of Selectmen in the Town Hall, uh, Banquet Hall Room, located at 6 Central Street, Mass, on the application for all alcohol restaurant liquor license for Dugas Restaurant and Catering, the public is encouraged to attend. Uh, Linda Lincoln Chair, Clarence Snyder, and Beth L. Coughlin Fleur. Okay, uh, we're going to do, for, would you like to come up, please? Okay. Tim? Tim? Okay. We, this has to be, um, this is, do you want this now in your name, right? Yes. Okay, and it has to be locally approved and then by the ABC. Commission, and I see that there are no abutters here for your license, so I don't know if you'd like to say a little bit about what you're doing. Well, um, last year, my wife and I took over the clam box. Mm -hmm. um, we're working um, to finish getting everything, you know, switched over into our name. Mm -hmm. um, I've actually been the manager on that liquor license at that property for a couple yeah. years, um, so I'm very familiar with everything. Um, we've never had any issues with the liquor license. Um, we've done some great events and actually done other separate liquor licenses through the town and never had any issues and always had the support of, the, of, of, of you guys and the police um, in everything we've done there and, and the town. So uh, we're just trying to move forward and get it, everything into our name so we can 
continue okay. our goals. Okay. Now, did you tell me, Karen, uh, he you wants did, to? Yeah, I'm going to have you sign the license, and that's what we'll give to the ABCC. But it's just mm -hmm. you're going to sign as local licensing authorities. Yeah. The definite uh, yeah, right license down. will come yeah. from ABCC. And they now have I see now. It. Have you had all kind of alcoholic beverages, or is it just beer and wine? Down it, here? it is the same liquor license. Oh, it's so the same liquor yep, license. Yeah. Yep, it's the same it's exact good. license. It's just good for a transfer. Oh, because all I know a uh, while back, I mean, it's, maybe before you took over, they all they had was just beer and wine. It's a. Uh, they always had a couple bottles, yep. but they never had. It's like it's ninety nine point okay. two percent okay. beer and wine sales. Okay. All right. okay. <laughs> so. So I would like to have a motion to sign the uh, restaurant for the uh, alcoholic beverage for uh, the Dugas Restaurant and Catering LLC. Do you have that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Tim, do you have anything else to say? Yep. I appreciate everything okay. you guys do for us. By the way, Linda, just so you know, that packet there, he has all the required documents by the ABCC. He has a fat packet there. I checked everything. It's all in order. And that's just all going to be shipped over to ABC. So you'll send that out. He doesn't have to. I'm going to send it. Yeah, Karen sends all. Right. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> We're excited. We open Friday. Outstanding. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank for you. A, Thank you so good, much. For a I'll good to, year. I have to do my dump run right around lunchtime. Next one on the agenda is appointments, and I can. Well, we have one here. I will take them all. I'll read them all off. We'll, we'll vote them. Uh, we have one for Zachary Edwards. Uh, he was appointed February 11, 2020, for the Conservation Commission to expire June 30, 2020. And yeah, we had a letter for that to recommend him. Well, with the appointments of Karen. No, we don't need appointments of Oh, we don't. Because that's the, the EMT, I believe. Okay. Uh, please, and this is, this comes from Chief Martell, and he would like uh, the selectman to appoint the following EMS. Sean Adams, probationary period for EMT for paramedic. Daniel Iser, probation EMT basic. And Luke Quadricelli, probation for EMT basic. You have that motion to approve the appointments. The appointments. Second. Uh, any discussion on that? Nope. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now we have some of our favorites. We have our They're special going fishing. commits going fishing again. <laughs> okay. We have here one from 5 2 2020 for South Pond. It's the map. Mass Bass Alliance, and another one for 6-7-2020 for South Pond. It's called the Ice Hole. And 9-27-2020 for South Pond for Mass Bass Alliance. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Next one here is to sign a joint operation from the F FY20 CDBG grant application. And what this is, it's a uh, the town of Brookfield for FY2020 community development block grant application. The town community develop advisory board agreed to enter into a joint application with the town of North Brookfield with North Brookfield acting as the lead community. This was decided at, as a only project that the committee wishes. Uh, it's rehabilitation on houses, and the total combination of this would be $441,000. Right, and I'd like, um, I would like to have a recommendation to join in with North Brookfield on this uh, You have that recommendation. And, uh, Second. All in favor? To sign. Motion to sign. Motion to sign. All in favor? Aye. 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 So, so I attended the uh, okay. joint meeting and uh, we, we chatted a, quite a bit about housing rehab and we in fact had a 
Brookfield Town resident there uh, who spoke in favor of us uh, supporting the mm. joint activity. Did we get it resolved so that we have expended or returned the funds that were eligible, or did we get it, a waiver? It, it, it appears that we are going to make it. Okay. That was what uh, Ian had to say that night. Great. Now, is this going to be um, like the what we've been doing? Like the low income housing? Yeah, yes. And with the loans? Yeah, and I think there's a total of seven, and this may, the lady that was there might be an eighth. Okay, so it's eight here in the town or mm, joint? No, 14, oh, four, 14 total. Oh, wow. That's the 414,000 yes, for, for 14. Okay. Seven for them and seven for us. So we're making progress. Yes, we are. That's good. We thank, <coughs> thank you for attending the meeting. Yeah. Okay, our next one here is to sign an invoice number 22 for CMRPC. And that's just an amended invoice, yeah, it's an in I think Kathy yeah. explained. Yeah, Kathy had explained it to me. It was an amended uh, invoice from the CR CMRPC to be signed by the selectmen. And I think it's for less than what we were signed. I think it's less money than what we signed. It's for uh, $6,181.68. Motion to sign. Second. All in favor? Aye. Our next one is public access discussion, and I think this was Mr. Holcraft that mm -hmm. requested this. If you'd like to come up. I came before this board about a year ago in September, and I asked why our public TV access channel has been off, and I was told it was broken, and it's been over a year now. It's been a year and a half almost that it's been off. Can you tell me why? Well, the last I remember, wasn't it hit by, in last July, wasn't it hit by the storm? And that's what knocked it up. You, each of you remember that? So I tell you uh, what, I don't, yeah. yeah. We got Sharon here too, Sharon. Well, can well no, Sharon's actually, what we're gonna do is contact the chair of the uh, cable access and get- uh, Who is the chair? The chair is uh, Kevin, uh, Urkel. Yeah, so he'll we'll get an answer oh. back. We'll get to Kevin, and then we'll have an answer back for the next meeting. Yep. Yep. But it's been off a year and a half. I mean, how long does it take? You know. Well, uh, we can't um, answer that really tonight. It's something that I'm surprised it has. No one's been oh. up here to look oh, into this oh. beforehand. Yeah. So well, we'll, just, well there's, there's stuff on YouTube, and a lot of people use computers. So yeah. you're the only person to have complained. No, I'm not complaining. I'm just uh, you're, concerned. You're, you're, I'm bringing, you're I'm bringing, yeah. a, I'm bringing a concern. Yeah. I mean, we get money from Charter to have this put on our TV sets, and it's not happening. Okay. We take so, money in, and Charter expects that to, us to use the money for that pur purpose. Okay, and we've referred so, to the chairman yeah. for chairman. a response. Okay, and when we have a response? Well, what? we'll have a response by our next meeting. Okay. Okay, and we'll have a response for you. Right. We'll get in touch with the chair. And okay, we'll and then we'll put it back on the agenda and we'll see we'll, if we can get yeah, it. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Okay. Okay, you satisfied right. with that? Well, for now, yeah. Okay, all right, Dave. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Okay. And then the next thing is, under other, is um, I received a... Uh, oh, it's correspondence. I received something, something from uh, Mary Jane Handy from the Department of Revenue. Uh, to me, and she said that she will give the community an extension to May 1st, 2020, 
uh, on getting in Schedule A, and she says, please keep me updated on the process of the town is making. So I had sent her back a note today because uh, I had talked to Laurie, and Laurie has been making the last few weeks, she's been making a lot of progress and things are going well. And uh, so she said she's willing to let her know, you know, what's going on, and during all that time that we'll, we'll still be getting our state aid. Right, but so, we still have an April target. Yeah. Well, as far as the activity that we're planning. Well, Laurie said she feels that by May 1st that she'll probably be able to have Schedule A. And yeah, well, yeah, that's consistent. We, we said we yeah. had it from our last yeah. go around. Yeah. We said and that it was an April timing. Yeah. So she said she will, Laurie will be in with us on our next meeting yep. on the 25th, yep. and she'll explain some more on it. Yeah, she's doing well. Okay. So does anybody else have anything? <clears throat> yep. Okay. I just have one other thing. Can we send a request to the uh, town clerk um, asking for, I saw that on the town Facebook page, it indicates that nomination papers are out and available and they're available through the end of March, but what's not listed is the open positions, a lot of the other information that might actually generate some interest from town folk. Um, so. Uh, I'd like if he could provide a full listing for us to announce at our next meeting, okay. uh, even though it'll be getting in kind of close to to the end with the nomination papers. And I don't know if he plans, I know Turley has offered to substitute for the fact that we don't really have the citizen anymore. So uh, it'd be nice to see yeah. some sort of public announcement in the local yeah. papers. Uh, usually, usually he does it. Yeah, That's it's, it's been kind of radio silence this year. That's yeah. one of the reasons why I'm asking the okay. question. So, okay. um, I'll find out. And maybe um, once she, he gets that list together, then um, perhaps Brenda can put it on Facebook too. I yeah, think I, sure. I think that would be great to just yeah. communicate okay. it either yeah. on the website sure. or on Facebook because I'll pass it along. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So one one other okay. other. Okay. One so other, other. so CMRPC did award a direct uh, technical assistance grant for another fifteen thousand dollars to continue the workshops and related activities for the region for senior housing. Oh, so uh, in the case of Brookfield, there will be meeting again at the Congregational Church on the twentieth, where Sharon will be coming to talk a little bit about what we might do to improve bylaws and how to improve mm -hmm. bylaws. Uh, related to that um, activity and then there there is expected to be a meeting in March for the region where we'll I input what we've learned uh, from that meeting so anyway some progress I've had a few people um, ask me about they've heard about the yeah they're wondering senior they want they're looking for senior housing oh and okay so yeah. down down that path at the last meeting we talked that there are three legs from our yeah. research yeah first leg and the quickest thing one might be able to do is work on what's called an accessory dwelling mm -hmm. or in-law yeah. type apartments. Yeah. That's the quickest way to provide housing. The, the second uh, that we, we determined, and there may not be an alternative in, in Brookfield because of uh, earlier votes, uh, but what we did learn was that, that Brookfield Meadows uh, was or had the expectation to be larger and that there is space to be larger. That may be an alternative because the facts are that 20% of our over 55 population um, live in uh, Nanatomqua, Wagon Wheel, or mm -hmm. Brookville Meadows. So that that's, that housing or expansion of that kind of housing might be of uh, interest or benefit. So we need to talk about that. And then the third is that um, the idea of a developer, developers, coming to town and putting actual housing in place. And so at the last planning board meeting, there was an individual who did uh, approach the planning board as to the interest in doing some mm -hmm. senior housing uh, on the uh, border of Brookfield and Sturbridge at Gay and Cedar Street. And so they're off doing their plans and deciding what they might, what might do or not do. They need to get a survey to figure if it's practical or not. Uh, so that that's where that is, but that I mean we're, in the next 15 years We're going to double that population yeah, all sure. of the populations holding mm -hmm. this firm yeah. and so that there's an opportunity for folks who have properties to take advantage So that's where we are with that But along with that though when you have your senior housing don't you have to have so much for um, the low income too they have to be 
And it can be just the way you build a house. In one conversation with one uh, potential developer, it was that you just build houses with 36 inch wide doors and uh, handicap rails and those kinds of things. And that, that can be standalone, okay. you know, all on one floor housing all rather than McMansions, you're building things that are all on one floor so that that's now there are other alternatives yeah. I mean you're going from all nursing home all the way along uh, but people want to stay in their own homes oh, I know they and do. so with yeah. people wanting to stay in their own homes are there strategies that we can come up with mm -hmm. that would allow that yeah. okay. all right yeah. you're good I'm good, good. Okay, I'd like to make an, uh, a motion to to uh, adjourn at 6.53. You have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.